In this performance of mine, the Jewish Eastman Memorial Dinner, we play uh, Evil Nigger and Gay Gorilla in their entirety. I just didn't want to represent <clears throat> you know, this dead composer's music. That's not so interesting to me. Um, let's bring it back from the dead. Let's make it alive again. Um, let's contaminate it further. Uh, so as they're playing these Eastman songs, I'm doing a sort of live electronic processing of the piano sounds. There are no sounds in my laptop. I'm like everything you're hearing is somehow the piano being pulled around. And while the musicians, what they're doing is very much scripted. I'm interested in improvising on top of that. So coming with a different relationship to the source material. You know, the titles are conceptual artworks in and of themselves because they challenge who can say them out loud and, you know, and so that's why I hit in this idea of like, well, it's, what if I have a kind of radio play section in the middle where the format is, I'm being interviewed for a job as a Julius Eastman impersonator. And it's a very attractive media narrative. You're like, ah, oh, this like gay black drug addict who died, but then he made this music and it's amazing. And, and but that's also, I think, you know, it's like tragedy is, tragedy is not the exception. You know, musicians who fail aren't the exception. It's sort of like the difficulties of being like a gay black man in New York City, are, they're not the exception. You know, that's, in a way, that's the, the mainstream. And by, by putting someone on a pedestal, you almost make that sort of everydayness of his death and the causes that led to it harder to see. Some people consider him an angry artist. I'm like, no, he's not angry, he's funny. You know, like song titles like, if you're so smart, why, why aren't you rich? So I think I'm, I see my role as in step with his to sort of trouble the waters around it. You know, it shouldn't be too pretty, it shouldn't be too pat. How do you, how do you leave something unraveled for, for the present and for the future?